very much new. Uh, it happened, as I was saying, when the, the food crisis broke out and there was a sort of panic out there, particularly amongst countries that had food security issues and suddenly found that they couldn't buy the basic foods that they needed at any price, but who also had cash to, to buy. And he started looking abroad to try to resolve their, their food supply problems, to outsource food production to other countries. Financial crisis is also part of this, so the collapse of the stock market and investors looking for more stable assets uh, that they can invest in and make some, some profits from. So you have the finance industry, hedge funds, private equity funds, wealthy individuals like George Soros, uh, the Kosla, who's from the, the, uh, the, the Silicon Valley, looking for a way to invest in farmland. Focus again is on staple foods, and what uh, we and, and others have uh, calculated, and again, most of these calculations are still, at this point, uh, quite loose. Uh, there isn't a lot that's been known about these deals, as uh, was pointed out earlier. Most of this is happening behind closed doors. A lot of the investment houses that are doing these investments are uh, withdrawing information. They're doing things privately. They don't want people to know that they're profiting from hunger. But we can say that about 50 countries are being targeted, and that there's maybe about a thousand investments, investment groups and a dozen or so governments who are actively pursuing this. Uh, the World Bank has said that about 50 million hectares uh, has been signed away or is under negotiation in Africa, Latin America, and, and in Asia. Tw 20 million of those hectares in Africa alone. Uh, the World Bank is coming out with a report that they're going to release on the 26th, which uh, we had hoped would shed some more light on this and get into more detail, but uh, it's not clear that that's going to be the case. And. Just as a ballpark figure looking at, uh, in, our, in our tracking of these deals that have been happening, uh, we estimate that there's a, at least been a, about $100 billion that has been mobilized for the acquisition of farmland, again, since the, uh, the food crisis broke out in 2008. And this has to be seen in part of a wider push, which has been happening for, for some time now. Uh, where global business, uh, global agribusiness is restructuring. So we are seeing also more south-south investment, for instance. A lot of the, the major agribusiness companies are located in southern countries. Um, I think Malaysia, Saim Darby is, uh, is now saying, is the largest agribusiness company in the world based in, in Malaysia. JBS uh, is the largest meat producer in the world. It's based in Brazil. Uh, so a lot, there's, there's this shift that's happening as well. 